my name is Vaughn, and it is my very first time here with Hide and Seek with Konuni. So as you can see, Shannon's not here today, so I'm gonna be filling in for her. A little bit about me, guys. I'm from the USA, and I actually live in a port city. So today, I will be showing you guys the port city Mokpo, located in southwest of Korea. So the cool thing about this city, like I said, it's a port city, but it's also filled with a lot of traditional things. So today, we're gonna see if we can find Konuni. But like I said, it's my first time here, so I'm gonna need all of you guys' help to help me find Konuni in this city. So let's go ahead and get started with our first cue card. Oh. Hello, Vani. It's my first time meeting you. Let's have fun together today. This street that you have come to is the Mokpo history and culture of modern time space that is located in Moko, Jolanam Jolanamdo. It preserves sceneries from modern history of Korea so well that it's also known as the Roofless Museum. It's pretty interesting. So let's see if we can go around the city and find something. Now, the modern period of Korea can be defined as the period from the late 1800s to the early 1900s. And it's a time of painful memories of being colonized by Japan. However, this street is being preserved as it is, as it is important to inform others about history accurately. So today's key hint is the photograph, so it's important to take a close look at the street. So we have a photo that we need to check out, guys. So let's see. All right, so we have to find the building in this photo below. So it'll be fun if we can figure out what kind of place this is. So this is what we have to find, guys. So looking at it, to be honest, I feel like it's not going to be anywhere around here because there's nothing but the ocean. So I think we should go and check out some of these side streets and see if we can find this building. So let's go. And as I said, I'm gonna need you guys help in the chats. So let's go ahead and check our chat to see if anybody can help me out. All right, let's see. Uh, let me go ahead and pull it up for you guys. Trying to get to the line. Okay. Let's see. Hey, everybody. Hi, Kumkush. Nice to meet you. So thank you, Nathan. So Korean at today, like I said, we're in Mokpo. So we're down here today. Anyaseo, nice to meet you. <laughs> All right, so has anybody been to Mokpo before? This is my first time here, so I have no idea where anything is. Let's cross. Let's see. Um, I think I want to go. Let's check down this street and see if we can find where this building is. So looking at it, I kind of feel like this would be something sort of like maybe an old bookstore or something dealing with art. What do you guys think when you see this picture? <laughs> Someone said, personally, I believe Vaughn and Shannon are the same person with different fonts. Me and Shannon always say we share one brain cell, like we were separated at birth. So basically, you guys are getting Shannon in different clothes today. <laughs> so Michelle, you haven't been to Korea? You need to come out here. And yeah, Nathan, we're definitely best friends. <laughs> All right, so one thing I want to show you guys is as we look around these streets, it's really similar to like an old traditional town and it kind of makes me feel like I'm in an older movie. Like if you think of cities like Seoul, you see a lot of tall buildings. But if you see Busan, you also see tall buildings, even though Busan's a port city. But this one, all the buildings are smaller and it just kind of feels like you're in an old movie so far. Like look at these little shops like here. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna look down there. All right, I still don't see this building, so maybe we can keep going. See, Shannon! <laughs> Shannon's in the chat, guys. Say hey to Shannon. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see if we can find it. What do we have? Oh, watch out. There's a car coming, guys. Come on, give me one second, guys. But yeah, if anybody has any recommendations of fun things to do in Mokpo, please let me know because I definitely want to check out the city while we're still here. Oh, wow. Okay, so this building right here, it's got more of like a 
Japanese style architecture. So the reason being, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Mokpo was one of the cities that was heavily colonized by Japan when they came back in the 1800s, 1900s. So you're going to see a lot of buildings that have a lot of Japanese influence in there. That's what I thought too, Michelle. It kind of looks like a museum to me or like it could be some kind of gallery. So I'm, I'm excited to see what this building actually is. Double points to you, Michelle, if you get it right. So let's see. Oh, look, a dog. <laughs> All right, still don't see where this building is. One thing that I will say that I haven't seen since I've been here, I have not seen a lot of young people here. So I don't think it's kind of like one of the hip bustling towns. Like I see a lot of older people here, which is also cool because I see them still really dressed up. So I think they kind of hold on to their, to their traditions here. Oh, wait guys, is that the building? Ooh, okay, I think that's it. So I think we found our first clue, our first building. So let's go ahead and figure out what exactly this place is. So yeah, definitely, mm, I don't know what else it could be though. <laughs> Me too, Michelle. She says she's excited to see. Kumush, what do you mean, yes it is? Yep, it is. You think it's one of the same ones we said? Well, I guess we're gonna find out in a second. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oh yeah, yeah, this is definitely it, guys. For sure. All right, let's try not to get hit by a car while we go over there, because that would end our search very fast. Oh yeah, perfect match. So let's just, okay, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna read to you guys what this building actually is. So, All right, guys, so this is the former Mokpo Hwashin department store. It's a department store, okay. So the former Mokpo Hwashin department store was located on the busiest street at the Ginza Crossroads during the Japanese colonial occupation of Korea. The structure was built of red bricks and curves to fit the intersection. Ah, that's interesting. It's designed as an open type space for the easy display of goods with pillars installed across the interior space. All right, so we found out this is a department store. So, I mean, that makes a lot of sense, actually. And, guys, look, we got our first clue. Okay. <clears throat> Vani, good job finding the first location. The name of this building is former Mokpo Huashin Department Store. It was also called Huashin Department Store and looks quite different from the other department stores we see today. Which is true. You see, like, Hyundai Department Store, Lotte, everything. It's huge, but this one, it's got a curve and it's, it's smaller. All right, so for our next tent, we need to find this. All right, so I only see one clue in here and it says art on it, so art museum. So we need to find an art museum. All right, which way should we go, guys? Do you think we should go to the right or should we go check out the left? Someone said it looks closed. Yeah, so this is definitely closed down, but it's so cool to have this like piece of history here, Nathan. Let's see. The name of this place is Huashin Department Store. So like, look at it, it's definitely closed, but I love coming to towns like this and seeing all the history that used to be here. All right, Nathan said left, so I say we go left. All right, thank you, Nathan. We're gonna follow you, and if we get lost, you're in trouble. <laughs> all right, so we need to find this. So if you guys see, like, please let me know if you see like a building with a blue banner like this. So we're gonna look around for that. But like I said, if you look around here, you still see a lot of like older people still running their shops, running their businesses, which kind of makes me wonder like how long have these places been here? Let's see. I do see a lot of food places though, and I'm getting kind of hungry, so we might have to make a stop. You said I like the picture clues. Me too, because without these picture clues, if it was just, without the picture clues, if it was just words, like, I would be completely lost. 
<laughs> Let's see. Okay, not this place. Oh, this the lady's in there getting her perm done. She's about to be looking good later. The, oh, no, this is not it. Okay, this is a blue one, but not what we're looking for. Okay. Hmm. Not this one. But that fish looks good, though. What's your guys' favorite Korean food? For those of you who live in Korea, or for those of you who just like Korean food, what's your favorite Korean food? <laughs> Thank you, Kamush. Oh, wait, guys, look at this. This is one of the things I was talking about earlier. This is another building that has a lot of Japanese influence. This is a Japanese-style building, and even this one across kind of has the same, too. So even though it was something that was very horrible that happened, it's still kind of cool to see this history in place. It wasn't just torn down or burned down. You can still, there's still stories to be told. Watch, what, there's a bus coming. We're gonna wait for the bus to go. Yeah, she, <laughs> I know all the banners look the same, so I, I don't know how to find this place. Uh, I'm gonna keep going straight because I feel I have high hopes to go this way. I've got a good sense of direction, so let me see. Let's see, do you guys see it anywhere? It's a giant fan. Oh, okay. Number two. Okay, so this place is the second one, Romantic Port Mokpo. So the Park Suk Kyu Art Museum. So I guess we did find an art museum after all. We thought the first one would be an art museum, but it's actually this one. Which, as you can see, is very empty. Which, I mean, that also goes on your opinion of what art is. This could be art. Up to you. But let's read about it. Okay, so this is the former Mokpo branch of Donga Woman's Store. So the former Mokpo branch of Donga Woman's Store was established in an area clustered with commercial facilities during the Japanese colonial period. The building was characterized by a long structure whose interiors are three times longer than the front. Oh, okay. It was originally a mixed-use building with its first floor serving as stores and the second floor as a residential space. Let's see. Uh, I lost my place, sorry. <laughs> residential space. The wooden staircase connecting the first and second floors is well preserved and there's a small yard inside. Okay, so they're just renovating this. All right. So maybe if you guys come to Mokpo, it'll be open by the time you guys come and check it out. And we got another clue. So this place is called the former Mokpo branch of Donga Woman's Store. It mainly sold household goods and daily necessities that women needed and was also the first business operated mainly by women back in 1930. Ah, so it was run by women solely, okay. Like the former Mokpo Huashin Department Store, former Mokpo branch of Donga Woman's Store is a building that symbolizes the flourishing street back then. So this is where women came to like meet and hang out and run their businesses, which is really important. And now I'm kind of thinking, I feel like they might have been super stylish with it, too. Like, can you just imagine everybody in the 1930s, like, coming out on the main street? It's, like, full of people. They're dressed up. They got their jewelry, their coats. Like, I would want to see what that looks like. But, okay. So next, we have our next clue. And this, all right, this place is huge. All right. So the next place is a bit more extravagant than the buildings you saw earlier. Hmm. So this one has more of a modern touch to it. Uh, what do you guys think this could be? Because it looks kind of like a giant house, but everything that we saw looked old and abandoned. But this one looks like, like there's even a person in the picture, so it looks like this is still something that's used today. So let's see if we can find it. And I want to know, what do you guys think this could be? Hi, Kimberly and Nathan. Oh, we got some people from the Philippines watching. Let's see. Yeah, someone said it feels like we're traveling back in time. It honestly feels like that. Like, I feel like I'm back in the 1930s. All right, but we need to find this building. And I'm looking around, and it doesn't seem like it would be anything close by, nearby. So I think we got to walk a little bit. Let's see what you guys say. Uh... So here we can find many cars. There are a lot of cars here, come to think of it, to be honest with you. Let's see. Uh, so I'm looking in the distance. What do you guys think? Should we try straight or should we go to the right? 
Oh, someone said we should fill up the, uh, the gallery with Shannon's artwork. That's not a bad idea. All right, let's try going this way. Let's see. All right, so we need a place with a lot of trees. So there's more trees that way. That looks more like buildings. We're going to try to go this way. Um, all right, Michelle said maybe this is also a department store that's been well preserved. That could be fine. And yes, it's really sunny here today. So like, I'm sweating. It, I did not dress appropriate for the weather. I'm not going to lie to you guys. The scooters, watch out for the cars. Thank you, Lajardi. I will watch out. I will not get hit by a car on camera. I promise. If I do, please screen record it. <laughs> um, let's see. Mokpo Casa, what's this? Like, I always wonder about towns like this where a lot of the buildings are still kind of run down. Like, how do they still stay in business? Like, because obviously there's nothing on the street, but some stores are open, like this one right here. The compost coffee. Uh, yeah, let's just keep walking straight, because I think there's some trees, more trees up here. So I like how they have even the modern stores here though in this town too, you got compost coffee. I would expect to see more like mom and pop shops versus like, you know, franchises and tra uh, chains. Couldn't think of the word. All right, let's watch out. All right, let's go ahead and cross over here. Ooh, okay. Oh, this is what I was talking to you guys about earlier. So this is the Jibung Oknon Bogbungwan, which means this is the roofless, roofless museum, which is basically this entire city. So now I'm kind of understanding why they call it that, because as you walk through, it's like we're going through a museum. Like, look at this. Honestly, I think this is so cool to see, because it's like, this used to be something, you know what I mean? But you can see it's been through a lot, but it's still standing, still preserved. I don't know, I'm a sucker for stuff like that. Like, I love just seeing, like, architecture that has tons of history. So, let's go read about this. All right, because I want to know exactly what this is. It says modern times on the, on the fence there. All right, Mokpo, hist Mokpo History and Culture of Modern Times. The Mokpo History and Culture of Modern Times refers to the historic area in downtown Mokpo. Oh, so this is the downtown, okay. Downtown Mokpo, which contains heritages left by the foreign settlements that developed around the turn of the 19th following the opening of Korea's ports to the international trade in 1897. The area contains the Mokpo Jin heritage site, which once consisted of defense structures built to protect the coastline of Mokpo and the downtown area, which consists of a well-planned road network and early works of modern architecture. Okay, so... Like I said, I'm also from a port city, so this is super similar to what we have in a way. But we have like battleships and stuff that are still there. But let's see if we can keep going. All right. Uh, so we got a big church here. So people still practice religion. Let's see. Yeah, it's called a roofless museum because everything has, has culture and history and it's like you were just stepping back in time but outside, <laughs> slide. Let's see, <laughs> someone said you love, we're taking through little Korean streets. I'm honestly glad I got to do this today because I've been wanting to travel more around Korea and this is like the perfect thing to see. Huh, let's see, that says, all right, so this is a church. Let's keep going this way, guys. Yeah, the structures are really well preserved. Honestly, I don't know how they do that. Like, I wonder how, how difficult it is to upkeep these structures, because this is really old. Well, not this one, this is pretty new. Right, let's see. Should we cross? Should we cross over? Let's see, because this seems like newer buildings, so I think maybe we should check it out. I don't think we have to wait. I think we can just go, yeah. Yeah, these are definitely a lot newer, like this one. They got the post office, so I think we're heading the right direction. All 
do I like Korean street food? I love Korean street food. So I live in Seoul and I love going to Myeongdong and trying all the street food. It never gets old. What about you? Do you guys like Korean street food? <laughs> he said it doesn't feel like it's your first time playing hide and seek. Why? <laughs> I wish. I haven't heard of the Chip Advisor Bird, just Konuni and Boogie in Busan. Oh, have you guys been down to Busan? Does this give you any kind of Busan feels? Like, does it feel like a port city to you guys? Guys, look, okay. We don't found it. <laughs> Sorry, so let's go and see what this building actually is. Because it, it doesn't really give me any kind of clues. And now I'm getting curious. So I, I tried to go to Myeongdong, it's very popular. Yeah, you need to come check out Myeongdong. All right, so let's see. All right, you guys ready to walk up here with me? <laughs> All right. Let's go. So even on there, it doesn't say, it says former Japanese consulate. So maybe that's what this is. So let's try to go up there and like, we'll read and see what it is. But I feel like I've seen this before. Like, not just from the pictures. Does, does this look familiar to anybody? Actually, let me check the chat. It's a good yes on. It feels pretty different than what I've seen. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the same as the picture. Same thing. So this is really well preserved, whatever this is. Someone said, is that a temple? Chris, I don't think it's a temple, but we got the information right here. We're going to go check it out. So let's see. Woo! <laughs> All right, so this is the former Japanese consulate of Mokpo. All right, so let's see what this is about. So after the port of Mokpo was opened to foreign trade on October 1st, 1897, Japan used that as a part, hold on, where is it? As a part of the old Mokpojin Fort building as its consulate office until a new consulate building was built at the current location in 1900. From this consulate, Japan exercised real power and control over the economy of Mokpo. The Japanese authorities protected the rights and interests of Japanese merchants while oppressing Korean workers and commission agent groups. Jeez, okay. So let's see if we can find the clue. So it's gotta be over here somewhere. You guys wanna go up to the top? <laughs> All right, let's go. Cause I wanna get up closer and see it. <laughs> so it's over here and we got a clue okay so this place is the former Japanese consulate Mokpo it's a two-story renaissance style building that was born, built using red bricks uh, as we can see this building was also used as a setting for the drama Hotel de Luna that the K-pop star IU played in the lead role in. Are you guys IU fans? That's why it looks familiar. I knew I seen this somewhere before. All right, tell me, I wanna actually look in the chat. Who's actually seen, who's actually seen Hotel de Luna? I'm gonna step down into the shade a little, guys. Vaughn seems like someone, any of us, the first time in Korea, <laughs> so I wanna know the same time, leaving good impressions. So it's not a temple, we found out it's a consulate. And this is where IU filmed her show. So she was the main character. See somebody, Michelle, you seen it too? Did you, did you guys like it? Say so Jesus liked it. See, so super popular. All right, let's see what our next clue is. All right, this is the last, oh my goodness. Okay, <laughs> this is the last hint. It might be a little difficult to guess. This is a photo of a sculpture uh, on the door of our last location. And it looks like this is a turtle. And I don't know how I'm gonna find a little turtle in this big city. So I'm definitely gonna need y'all to help me. Like I need everybody's eyes glued to the screen cause I don't know how I'm gonna find this. So I guess we'll just go back out the way we came. And it looks, we need to find like, well, it doesn't really help, like a gray floor, like gray bricks. So we need something with this brick pattern and look for a turtle, which I guess makes sense, us being in a port city, sea, sea life, sea creatures. But 
All right, I don't know how we're gonna find this. But in the meantime, let's see what you guys are up to. So the structure of all these buildings here looks for me like a K-drama location. And look, it pretty much was a K-drama location. I love that drama, I love IU. I love IU too, she's like Korea's sweetheart. We had turtle on the door. And yeah, it's small, so it might be a little difficult. But uh, like I said, I, we do have the hint of having these uh, gray bricks on the ground. Like this one has red bricks, so I think we might be able to narrow it down somewhere, some way. Yeah, Konuni's making these hints hard. It's my first day. <laughs> um, let's cross the street if we can. Okay. All right. Konuni, we're gonna find you. Hmm, if I were a little turtle, where would I be in a big city like this? Can you guys give me some hints? Like, what y'all got? If you were in this situation, like, where would you go? Because <laughs> I'm like looking around like this, but like obviously that's not it. That has a dog on it though, so we're getting closer, I guess. That's another animal. Um, let's see if there's a turtle on this door. Cause it's gray floor, like it's gray bricks. Let's see. You're doing great, thank you. Uh, all right, so nowhere near here, just rocks. Konuni's really good at hiding, but I'm better at seeking, so you better watch out. <laughs> Let's see, here. Okay, not here, and this also looks abandoned, so I don't think it's gonna be there. Um, the CU. We could ask, should we ask somebody at the CU? Let's see. Well, I'm just gonna follow the gray bricks. Let me see. Let me see. The turtle will lead you to find Konuni. <laughs> All right, we gotta find the hint. But in the, in the meantime, I mean, I do see a store right here that we could go in and ask. They sell makgeolli here, if anybody wants to stop for a makgeolli break. Uh, this is so, I love this though. Like, look at this, this is all like, all right, can we check this out really quick? Like, this has nothing to do with the hint, but this is a craft makgeolli place. And I love the structure of it here and how they incorporate it. Like, there's grass here, it's like the old doors. Like, this is beautiful. Like, I love this. Like, I wish that America or the USA had more places like this with, like, history in this way. But we don't, so. Okay. Honestly, I just wanted to go get in the shade for a little bit. <laughs> All right, we got to find the turtle. So, not here. What are you guys saying? Nice places. Yeah, where, if I were a tiny little turtle in a city, where would I be? Should I ask these people over here? Excuse me. No? Uh, let me see. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, oh, this is cute, though. You can get, this is like a photo booth place. Should we stop and take a photo with Konuni afterwards? <laughs> All right. Um, is this Bingsu? No. Oh, yeah. This building, that's not it. Okay. Modern history. Yes, I've tried Makali. Makali is very good. Wait, what's this? There's a bunch of people standing out here, though. Let's see. Maybe I can ask somebody. The Mokpo Hospital. Let's read what this is about. Okay, this is the former director's residence of the Mokpobu Hospital. Mm. All right, so the former director's residence of the Mokpobu Hospital is a Japanese style, high class house located diagonally opposite the Mokpo branch of the former Oriental Development Company. Although it was registered as having been constructed in 1935, according to local opinion, it was actually built in the 1920s. All right. So, this, I mean, it looks kind of cute. I think we should just go and check it out anyway. Let's see, maybe we can find something. So it's like they have a whole garden over here or something. Let's see if they have their... Oh, I thought it was going to be a menu or something. Oh, wait, <laughs> is this the same one or is this a different turtle? Hold on. We found it. Ah, so we're one step closer to getting Konuni. 
Now, how do we just find this place? Okay. But look, this is beautiful. So I can only imagine what this garden looks like in the springtime, because obviously the seasons are changing and they're doing, they're keeping up the garden. But like, I just want to come here and see it with all the flowers and stuff. But I say we go inside and see if we can find Konuni. Because so we found the turtle at the door. So I assume we have to go in and see if we can find him. So let's see. Oh, this is also very beautiful too, by the way. Yeah. See the museum? Okay, so let's go. Let's see. Oh. So it's a cafe. Okay. Let's see. Guys. <laughs> we found him. We found him. Ah! <laughs> so <laughs> we got him. So hide and seek with Konuni. He thought he could hide. He thought I would not get the last clue, but I did. So I should get something. So Shannon, you owe me because I found him. <laughs> so. All right. So now let's see. What's everyone saying? Let me check the chat really quick. Garden. Okay, so let me sit. Let's sit down. I'm gonna check the chat. And I can finally breathe a little bit, guys. Konuni, you found him. Can you eat the turtle? No, Nathan, we can't eat the turtle. <laughs> All right, so now it's time for us to talk about who is gonna be today's winner because you guys helped me a lot. So I want to go ahead and see who we should, who should we make the winner today? Also, you, thank you guys for tuning in. Like, I know I'm not your normal host, but I still appreciate all you guys tuning in today and checking it out. So let's see. Also, I want to know more about you guys. So you guys let me know. So thank you so much, Vaughn, for the show. You're very cool. Your hair is matching Konuni. We're kind of twins at this point. Yeah. <laughs> we match. Let's see, amazing episode, drum noises. <laughs> so all the show amazing, welcome Vaughn to this wonderful show. Thank you, you guys are so awesome. Also, where, where is everyone in the world? Where do you guys live? It's like, obviously, you guys know I'm in Korea. I'm from USA, but I wanna know about you guys. So we love your energy. Let me see. Okay, well. Okay, I'll talk to you guys, but I kind of want to also look around this cafe because I just came and sat down. <laughs> so let's see. All right, Konuni, where should we go? Let's see in here, it's just like a little sitting room. Let's see, let's see. Oh. Guys, look at this. This is pretty cool, typewriter. No, I love how everything is so like, old timey, they have old cameras. This is like a wind up one. This is so dope. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, guys, look, look, come here, come here, come here. Look, look at this food, this looks so good. I told y'all I was hungry. What should I try? What should I get? Carrot cake is my favorite. They have like an Oreo one. They got fruit, they got everything here. Let's look at their menu. All right, so not only do they have coffee, they got fresh juice. Konuni, what should we get? What do you want? Let's see, let's go check it out. It's over here. This will be, I wish they had this place in Seoul, like having somewhere to just come and sit with friends. Like, let's see. Oh, looks like there's more back here too. This kind of reminds me of like an old house. So my grandma has one of these. Oh, there's more. It's upstairs. I didn't even know it was two story. No, I've never been to the Philippines, but it's on my list. Oh my gosh. I love all the old architecture here. I'm gonna try to read this, but I don't really know how to. Verb Allen Giffen Istra in Allen. If anybody knows what this says, please put it in the chat because I have no idea. <laughs> but now I'm really curious. But it's by, it's by Johann Wolfgang, if you like classical music. <laughs> so. 
All right, so let's see. All right. There's more out here. Okay. This place is a lot bigger than I thought. I thought it was just the downstairs. I didn't realize it was so big. So I give a big hug to Kununi because he, yes, I'll give him a big hug so he doesn't hide away. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so Kununi, we're nearing the end of the episode. And let's see. Let's see what you guys say. Yes, they have sagua tea. <laughs> well, sagua juice. So this place is never ending. That's what I said. I didn't realize it was so big. But yeah, that was definitely German. I have no idea <laughs> what they were saying. Let's see. So now we have to see. Let's see. You had a great time. Did you guys have fun today? Did you guys enjoy watching me on the show today? Let's see. Should I come back one day for a guest guest appearance? <laughs> Thank you guys. Okay, let me see. Oh, look at the view out here though. You can see there's a mountain up there and look, they even have the, um, what is it called? The cable cars and stuff. I've never done a cable car, but I always wanted to. But I hear that Mokpo is very famous for their cable cars, and maybe I'll go and check that out afterwards. I'm not sure yet. All right, so someone who really helped me out today. All of you guys are super helpful, by the way. Super helpful, because I don't think I would have been able to <laughs> really figure it out. Um, let's see. Everybody can hear me, right? Can you hear me? Good? All right, I'm going to go through the comments right now, and I'm going to see who I think the winner today should be. Hmm. Let's see, put my phone here. I want to make sure I spell the name correctly. Oh, I don't need that. Let's see, let me look, let me see. Who's it gonna be? Can I get a drum roll? <laughs> Who do you guys think it's gonna be? Oh wait. All right, you guys ready? Drum roll, three, two, one. And today's winner is Michelle Loretto. So Michelle, please, right now, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot of this, that way you can send it in and we will award you a special prize. <laughs> I'm trying to read your comments while I'm like doing this at the same time. So. No, thank you guys so much for playing today, and thank you guys for allowing me to come and be on the show and help me out and let me show you a place that I've never been before, because it was fun. It's like we all got to experience this at the same time, and who knows, hopefully I'll come back here with friends. Maybe I'll come back here with Shannon, and we'll make our own video for you guys about uh, being in Mokpo and show you guys some other fun things to do around this town, because honestly, everything we saw today looks so different than uh, the KTX that we came on, but... All right, guys, thank you so much. I will see, we'll see you guys next time, and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye. See you guys.